Is Breezeway worth it for your short-term rental business? Well, we're going to hear firsthand from Madison Romelli, who, yeah, she now works at Breezeway, but before she did, she actually was using Breezeway in her 50-unit short-term rental business. Let's hear from Madison here on the Fearless Investor Podcast. Hey, Team Fearless, I just want to take a quick break from this podcast to talk about funding your furnishings. If you're listening to the Fearless Investor Podcast, then you probably want to do the Airbnb arbitrage model. Reason being, it's a low barrier of entry, right? $10,000, $15,000, $20,000 to buy furniture with someone else's property. And sure, you can use your own bank account or you can raise the money at a low interest rate from a friend or family member. But wouldn't you rather get that money at 0% interest, aka free money? That's what my friends at Pathway Financial can do for you. Pathway Financial helps people like you get 0% interest credit cards so you don't have to have the financial stress of putting down a ton of money up front for your deals. Think about that for a second. How many arbitrage deals could you do if money was not a concern? Well, that could be the exact possibility with Pathway Financial's help. Get a free quote from them today. Go to fearlesskyle.com forward slash pathway financial to find out how much you can get pre-approved for right now. And don't worry, it won't have any impact on your credit score because it's a soft inquiry. So go once again to fearlesskyle.com forward slash pathway financial and get that free quote. Hey everyone, welcome into the Fearless Investor Podcast. You're listening to me, Kyle Stanley, and very excited about today's uh, talk with Madison Romelli from Breezeway. We had Breezeway on I want to say about six or seven months ago, and the thing that they really brought was a lot of clarity to how this product could be used in your short-term rental business, but it came from the the voice of an employee, and and I, I said, you know, I really like what Breezeway is doing. I want to hear from someone that's actually using it, and so they actually were able to provide us with an employee that used to use it before she ever became an employee, and, and I love that we're going to hear actual pain points that Madison went through in her own short-term rental business that she was working for before coming on with Breezeway and how Breezeway was that solution. Now, before we get into that, I haven't done this before, but one very shameless plug that I'm going to do. I I have a big passion for baseball. For those of you that watch on YouTube, you can see behind me that I've got some baseball stuff. I've got a signed helmet. I'm I'm a huge Cubs fan. and, And one of these days here, I decided, you know what? I'm I really want to go back to some passions without having to worry to get paid for it because, you know, the fearless investor and our short-term rental business has really helped me to be able to make those decisions in my life now because I have financial and time freedom. So I decided to make a baseball podcast where I'm interviewing current and former major league baseball figures and players and coaches and it's been a really fun journey for me. We've already released six episodes. I would love if you are a baseball fan to either go check it out or if you're not a baseball fan, share it with someone that you do know would be a baseball fan. It's something that, again, I'm not getting paid for. We're just having fun with it, but it is something that I think a lot of people would find really enjoyable. Had some really cool guests on there, and that's called The Setup Man. You can check it out at setupman.net, or if you like to follow me on Instagram over there, Setup Man Pod. Setup Man Pod. Um, so that's my end of my shameless plug. Let's get to it right now with Madison Romelli here on the Fearless Investor Podcast. All right, guys, welcome into the Fearless Investor Podcast. We've got Madison Romelli with Breezeway. Now, today's a little bit different. I'm not going to ask Madison the same question I ask everyone with what's their craziest short-term rental story because she doesn't have any, but she does have a lot of experience with Breezeway. Even before she was an employee over there, she was using Breezeway herself in a property management company. And as you all know, I really like um, you know just promoting good technology out there. There's so many different options for so many different things in this industry. And I think some of it's overkill and some of it is necessary and some of it will just take your business to the next level. And that's exactly what Breezeway can do. So first of all, Madison, thanks for jumping on. Yeah. Thank you for having me, Kyle. Awesome. So you're out of Austin, Texas, and um, you don't have the the short-term rental experience, but you were working for a property management company. Can you give people just a little bit of background on what you were doing over there and, and how you helped out that company? Yeah, for sure. Um, so when I started with this company, I came on as the first hire. Um, overall, we were a hospitality company. I was brought on to lead our efforts for vacation rentals. And so when I started, we had five properties. And then after a little bit over a year, we scaled to 50. This was a mix of arbitrage and co-hosted, but became super familiar with the industry and just threw myself into the fire there. So it was a short-term rental industry. It wasn't just long-term rentals. 
Yeah, it was all short-term rental. Thank okay, you. got it, got it. Okay, that that's awesome. So, you know, especially like immersing yourself into that industry, essentially, if I'm understanding this correctly, you were essentially kind of like the chief of operations. You were kind of running the company and helping, or were you doing more of the sales side? Yeah, no, for vacation rentals, I was leading operations. Okay. So I was helping build out that team, um, bring on new properties and everything you can imagine with that. Did at any point you say to yourself like, hey, I should just start this business myself or did you like working for someone else? I enjoyed the guidance. I'm yeah. like a sponge. I want to just soak up everything I can. And so it was a new industry to me, um, but I was super eager to dive in there and take the lead for the vacation rentals at least. Would you ever start your own short-term rental business after going through all that? Yeah, potentially. I'd need yeah. to see where I'm at in life, right? I think I'd need to be settled down somewhere. Um, and not to segue here, but I think with Breezeway, it would be much more manageable than how yeah. I initially started with it. Yeah, well, you know, and the reason I asked that question is because a lot of people ask me like, hey, if I'm going to hire a manager to do this business and really take over a lot of the operations, they they always have this like fear of, well, what if that person learns so much that they just want to leave me and go work and do it on their own? Um, so I think it's cool to hear you say like, yeah, I mean, I, I like, I like the guidance. I like the help. I kind of like was, was stability another, another reason for wanting to kind of stick with someone rather than go out on your own. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and today I speak with, you know, multiple property owners a day from one to four of these investment properties that they want to turn into short-term rentals. And, um, I think now with the technology, like it's super empowering and you can definitely manage these on your own. Yeah. That's awesome. So when did you start using breezeway or when did you really like think it was necessary to have something like breezeway in that in, or in that business that you took from five to 50 properties? Mm -hmm. So when we brought him, brought Breezeway on, I should say, or implemented Breezeway, I believe we were right around the 30 mark. Mm -hmm. um, if I could have done this earlier and if I knew of Breezeway earlier, we would have absolutely probably done it from the start. Um, but took a little bit of time to discover we were just kind of maxing out, um, needing to constantly hire, but also like not having enough work to continue to hire. It was this really weird situation. And I think at the end of the day, we just needed something to help with task management because property management is so tedious. So uh, looked into a lot of things. Monday was one of them, uh, seemed to be a little bit customizable, but Breezeway is so interesting because it's so specific to the industry and you can really customize all of your needs in one space. So can you just tell everyone really quickly what Monday is just so they can relate what Breezeway looked like compared to it? Yeah. Um, so I'll do my best here. I think Monday, it would be best compared to Asana, which is yeah. a project management task system. So you would go in, you create boards, um, individualized tasks, whereas Breezeway has your properties in there, syncing over your reservations, um, setting up workflows and automations for those tasks. So then it's a little bit less manual. Well, a lot more, a lot. I think, more <laughs> I think it feels like for me, Monday and Asana are kind of like, hey, here's the checklist of things that would usually be up on our whiteboard. And we could like write down the names of people who are assigned to it, where Breezeway is like, I'm going to take this and put it on steroids and make sure that I'm communicating everyone's task when they're supposed to be there, uh, that they're inputting all the correct data to make sure that it was done correctly and just like taking it to a, a whole new level. Is that kind of a good comparison? Yeah, definitely. I think that's a good way to put it. And you know, giving you the automation that you're looking for, um, but still having really good documentation in your system. So what were some of those pain points as a company, as you started growing, especially being at 30, going on 50, sound like it grew really quickly. Mm -hmm. what, what were some of those pain points that you're like, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I need something to help me so that I don't lose my mind. Yeah. I'd say there was probably just three top 
issues that we kept seeing. And first one is the most common, and I think everyone gets to this point, but just simply coordinating our cleans and scheduling mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, with vacation rentals and short-term rentals, I should say specifically, you can get a lot of last minute bookings, cancellation, changes. There's so many things happening in a schedule that you are the messenger for and you have right. to communicate to your team. Um, and we didn't have a good way of doing that. And it would be like, you know, I could never separate my personal life from my rental life, I would say. Sure. If it's 9 p.m., 10 p.m. and you have a last minute booking, like that's on you to get in touch with your cleaner and make sure the property is going to be ready for the next guest. Um, yeah. And, and so when, when you brought on something like breezeway, how did it fix that problem? Yeah. I mean, automations. So yeah. setting up workflows, I know between each reservation, I need X, Y, and Z done. In our case, it was just a departure clean and an inspection. So automating those. So hard. really help me feel that, right? Like I, I can, if I'm listening in right now, whether I have one property, 10 properties, 30 properties, I can feel what you just talked about. Like that cleaning comes in at nine or that, that booking comes in at 9 PM the same night. And you have this anxiety if I need to get it filled, but I also want to make sure that my cleaner is able to do it. And it's probably past their bedtime. And I really feel bad reaching out, but now, right? Like you're saying automations can help fill that. So what is it going to feel like from your end and from the cleaner's end? What, what does that process, that implementation really look like so that I can feel what breeze they would, what breeze way it would feel like to, to be in my business? Yeah. Well, starting from, let's say the manager's point of view, mm -hmm. you get that new booking that comes in. Okay, great. It's on the schedule. We can see that it's updated. Our tasks have been created. It's pretty hands-off for you. Um, you're able to have peace of mind, take a step back, and then for your cleaners, we're sending out notifications through email, text, push notifications. When they go into that departure clean, they can now see that they have, okay, a same day turn and those incoming reservation details. So they're going to get a text, they're going to get an email, and they're going to get a push notification on the app. So there's really no way for them to not see that they've been assigned to a cleaning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So that already feels a lot easier, but then my, my next thing, at least I know about my cleaners, I'm guessing you probably have the same thing is I need to know, you know, what, what, what did the, what did the place look like when they walked into, what did the place look like once they left? Did, what time did they show up? What time did they leave? You know, things like that. How's Breezeway helping with the actual, uh, job that's being done? Yeah. And I think that is kind of leads into my, my second pain point too, was just like, not being efficient and not mm -hmm. having anywhere to centralize things. Um, so with Breezeway, you're getting that schedule and communication, but then you're also able to provide your cleaners with a checklist. This mm -hmm. is going to give you the documentation you need. So I'd imagine most people without a tool like this are texting their cleaners, receiving photos, receiving walkthrough videos. Well, now all of this can be done on the platform and you can require it for each specific task. And then you have that documentation saved with your task, your property and so forth. Cool. So all the people out there who are like, I have my manual checklist that they have to print out beforehand or have that that checklist with maybe it's laminated and it's in the the cleaner's closet in that property you don't have to worry about that anymore it's right there on the app um and you can su submit photos like they have to checklist that they've done everything to and show and you can customize it to, to say hey i need photos for each of these rooms is that is that accurate yeah yeah you can get super detailed with that so my devil's advocate question of that is, Hey, all my cleaners are not tech savvy. They don't want to learn a new app. They don't want to do all this. Do you ever have people that you're, you know, onboarding that have that same issue? And if so, how have you dealt with it? Yeah, I love this question. It's something that I talk a lot about with, um, our new clients. And my answer is we know that, right? Like, we know that 80% of the people using Breezeway are your cleaners. And so the product was really made for their ease of use. We understand that your cleaners are on the go. They don't have time to learn a new system and it's intimidating. Um, 
So we also provide trainings to help with that. But speaking from my experience, I had a lot of um, turns with cleaners and I onboarded probably around like five to 10 cleaners on the app. I think it's normal to get a little bit of pushback at first. Mm -hmm. Cleaners right. typically don't respond well to change. Um, but if you take that five minutes and be like, listen, this is going to be a great tool for the both of us, it makes such a difference. Yeah, I, I think you nailed on the head. If you can show the benefits of it, it's going to be a little bit painful in the beginning, but if you can get used to it, it's going to save you a ton of time and it's going to save us a ton of communication points and me having to follow up with you and you're going to get annoyed with me. Instead, you can figure out this whole thing. You can submit everything and then we don't have to, I don't have to hunt you down for the, the stuff that you did. Yeah. And it's actually super interesting um, because we get a ton of new client referrals from our cleaners. Oh, nice. Yeah. So cleaners oh, cool. really love it because they're getting a tool that's setting them up for success. Usually when people are frustrated with their cleaners, it's because there's lacking communication somewhere. And with Breezeway, it pretty much checks all those boxes. Cool. So your biggest pain point was cleaners when you first jumped into this. What other pain points were you dealing with when you were working for that short-term rental management company that you said, okay, this, this is going to help and it's going to fix a, a big problem for us. Yeah. So I mentioned like automating day-to-day -day tasks, um, that efficiency piece, and then really just centralizing the day-to-day, -day. um, in the beginning, we started out with a lot of spreadsheets and then, you know, we talked so much about cleaning, but you have to think a lot about maintenance because not only are you trying to provide a good guest experience, but it's also your responsibility to manage the asset as well. So maintenance is a huge piece with preventative, upkeeping, whatever it may be. And in Breezeway, you're able to centralize your cleans, inspections, and maintenance tasks all in one place, uh, which is amazing. So I know one of the things that, you know, is really just, irritating for me is a cleaner goes into a property and says, Hey, you know, the, the sink has a small leak under it. And, you know, it's like on an urgency level, it's like a two out of 10 and we got to guess it's checking in in an hour. We're not going to be able to get the handyman there in time. And then before you know it, that guest checks out and there's no further communication about that. That cleaner just thought like, Hey, I, I, I passed it off to you guys. You were supposed to get it done. It didn't get done. And here, you know, Three months later, we still have this tiny little leak that's now turned into a major problem. How how does take a situation like that, right? Like how how is the cleaner able to use the app or use Breezeway to be able to make sure that this is something that's submitted and doesn't fall off the table? Yeah. So we give your cleaners the tools to submit these, or I should say, report these issues to you. Mm -hmm. um, just like your cleaners are being notified through email, text, push notifications. When things like this come up at the property, as a manager, you are as well. So we ease a lot of that communication, um, but then also help with the documentation. And um, Kyle, I'd love to show yeah. the dashboard maybe, if you don't mind sharing my screen. Yeah, should be shared now. For those of you that are listening on the podcast, definitely jump over to the YouTube channel so you can see what Madison is showing. Okay, awesome. So our dashboard is something that a spreadsheet will just never be able to do. Um, our dashboard gives you a bird's eye view of what you have going on for the day. So properties are on the left-hand side. At the top here, I want to point out those departments that we mentioned, cleans, inspections, maintenance. We can see how many tasks we have. We have our reservation details that sync through, our general property status. We've talked a lot about cleans. So here we can see that we have a turn clean at Corns Castle. It's in progress. We're getting a lot of these real-time updates. Now, if the cleaner's in here and want to report an issue, they can do that. And then it also appears in your dashboard along with those notifications. Yeah. I mean, it's all right there for you. So as long as you just go to the dashboard, you can see everything that has been submitted. Um, that's yeah, that guys, I just hope you, you can see this is just making life simpler for you. I can think of all of the, is it okay that I removed the screen? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Uh, I can just remember like when I had 
three, four or five properties. And I, and it was just like keeping me up at night thinking about like, did we get that done? Did we get that done? Did we get that done? And then passing that off to my manager. And really I just, we didn't solve the problem. We just passed off another problem. Right. And then we started to see that like we had to get something in place. Unfortunately, we didn't know about breezeway. So we, we ended up using a different format, but we had to get some sort of system and technology in place that was going to keep us from staying up at night thinking about all the little things that we're, we're not sure that it got done. So if you kind of resonate with that and you're listening to this right now, Team Fearless, like if you're thinking to yourself, man, that that's me. Like I'm always staying up at night wondering if something got done or did I address that? Did I hand that off? How simple would it be if you just had a dashboard that you could log into and it shows you everything that you've done, everything that you've assigned and now everything's automated like that. That to me is is so cool. So what have I not asked maybe another pain point or maybe another feature about Breezeway that people love using that you want to show? Yeah, um, I think it's important to speak to the fact that Breezeway is more than just a scheduling tool and an operations tool. We also have a lot of guest facing features. So we like to think of it as a property experience tool because you're getting that you know, help with your task management, managing the asset. Um, but then also we want to utilize all of those things and share um, a guest experience as well. So maybe Kyle, if you want to hop into yeah. the guidebook for me. There you go. Perfect. Um, so this is a Breezeway guidebook. It's shared through a URL link with your guest. This is a view into their browser. So they're not having to download anything. When they click in here, they have this really nice welcome page. It's specific to each reservation. Um, we just recently added in local recommendations, which is powered by Google. So a lot of people will say, oh, well, I'm using the Airbnb guidebook. And sure. really, that only has your local recommendations. Mm -hmm. um, but this is kind of leveled up, I'd like to say. Cool. That's awesome. So not just tasks, but experience as well. Um, and you know, I, I love, I love the firsthand perspective of how you used it in the business that you were working with. I think a lot of people that I talk to, um, that are a part of, you know, these technology companies, uh, not to their own demise, but you know, they, they just, they, they've never experienced it, right? They, they think they're solving a problem, but they've never been in the shoes. And for you to actually be in those shoes and know, like, these were the pain points we had, and this is how Breezeway fixed it. And you're so passionate about how much it helped that you actually went and started working for them. I think that speaks a lot. So, uh, Madison, is there anything I didn't ask or anything that you wanted to talk about that we didn't get to? Um, nothing in particular. I think if, you know, we had one more thing to chat about breezeway is an investment and it's a great way mm -hmm. to figure out how you can maximize your revenue. So obviously, um, with a lot of your audience, these are investment properties and you have to be able to invest in your operations to really see success. Breezeway has a ton of reporting capabilities. It's going to help keep your team super lean if you do decide to grow this business or your portfolio. Um, there's, I could go on and on about it. So I'll probably just pause here. And then if anyone wants to chime in. Um, yeah, awesome. for sure. Well, here's the deal, guys. If you're ready to get started with Breezeway, sure. You can go to, oh, is it breezeway.io? Is that what it is? Yes. Yeah. So you go to breezeway.io, which is great. Or if you're not a part of the six figure formula already, then you're definitely going to want to join our six figure formula because they are one of our 13 discount partners giving exclusive discounts to this, uh, software that's going to level up your business. And, you know, just like what we titled this, how to run your SCR business more efficiently with breezeway. Why not do that with a discount as well? So go check that out at fearlesskyle.com slash six FF. And you can see all of our discount partners before you decide to join the six figure formula, which is by the way, $49 a month. Like that's awesome <laughs> if we, for $49 a month, getting a discount with breezeway price labs, all these other ones, it's kind of a no brainer. So go check that out. Um, either way, Madison, thank you so much for helping us to understand and conquer the world of short-term rentals with the help of breezeway. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. So once again, two options here, you can go pay full price for breezeway, breezeway.io. Uh, by the way, do, they do a free consult. So if you want to just check out what they're all about, just go to breezeway.io. But if you're like, no, I need to use this. I'm, I'm staying up at night. I am thinking about all those things, just like you were Kyle, 
you know, going through those checklists that are keeping you up and did I do this? Did I do this? Did I delegate this? If you're in that boat and you want to save money, then just go to fearlesskyle.com slash 6FF. If you're not already a member, you're going to want to be a member. We've got over 500 members since we started this over a year ago. That's right, 500 members because everyone sees the value in just $49 per month. They're getting access to our course, to our discounts, to the community. There's so much there. So go check it out. If you are not a 6FF member, you're going to want to be, and I'd love to see you there. That's going to do it today for the Fearless Investor Podcast. We're helping you to conquer the world of short-term rentals. Yeah.